Hello my lovelies and welcome back to another video. Today's video is coming very late because my birthday presents arrived sort of late or in fact probably the one that I really could not wait to show you is missing in this video so I couldn't really show you everything but I still wanted to film this video because I've been getting so many questions like when are you publishing it, when are you publishing it, when are you publishing it so last year, I don't know who remembers, if you remember I filmed this video because from my sister I got the most incredible gift where she gave me a little thoughtful thing for every year of my life so it was like from kinder surprise to like coloring book and stuff like that so it was really really amazing and I wanted to share it with you but you guys always expect these from me and you always ask me like when's the next one coming when's the next one coming when's the next one coming so my birthday's like happened uh, without any marking like significance to it two weeks ago and I got some really really cute things that I wanted to share with you obviously as things happen and as it's corona I couldn't really celebrate so there was not really much of a thing to it however it's still quite nice and I love my birthday so I still wanted to show you these pieces so I will try and find some of these things so that I can link them below um, you guys asked me all over Instagram for this top I will link it below as well for you guys so happy shopping to start off I will start with a mini orange box that you can see here this present was completely unexpected and I thought it was just so so genius I got a keychain as you can see over here from Hermes um, and it's in the uh, rose book color which is the same color as my Birkin 25 and this was really really cute because as you guys know I was supposed to move in to my new flat on 20th of March so that was supposed to happen right after my birthday my birthday was on 16th on 20th I was supposed to move in so I got the keychain to kind of mark this like important new chapter of my life However, due to coronavirus, I just thought, well, I think we went into lockdown on the 20th, first of all, so that was not really smart. But second of all, I just couldn't really move and I couldn't do everything that I wanted to do at that point. I thought being alone in a flat during the coronavirus situation would not be something that I wanted. So this is sadly going to have to wait a little bit more for my new piece but I really love it and I thought it was super adorable that I got that. I got quite a few jewelry pieces and something that you would have already seen on my stories came in this little black box. These are beautiful earrings that I have worn actually recently. There we go. This is what they look like. They're like a chain golden earrings with a Chanel logo at the bottom and I really really like these. I will insert a picture of uh, me wearing them because I think they're really really cool now as most of the Chanel earrings they come in as like clip-ons or as like pierced earrings these are pierced earrings I don't really like clip-ons I tend to drop them lose them they like hang there's not really much space next to all of my other earrings for a clip-on so what I do, I always tend to get the pierced ones, but if you don't have pierced ears, clip-ons are amazing. A lot of questions if these are heavy, they're not heavy at all. Like comparing to all the other kind of chandelier -y type of earrings, these are a dream. A dream. I really, really love them, I recommend them, and I think they're just beautiful. I got another Chanel uh, piece of jewelry, and I've already opened it and worn it and shot it and love it so, so much. It's a necklace. Now, I kind of wore it as a choker in one of my uh, pictures, but actually it's not supposed to be a choker. So, it has like plenty of space for you to attach it however you want. So you can wear it like this if you want to. I thought it was really, really cute. I mean, you can. It is still quite fun and quite fabulous, but what I did is I tightened it all along to this and this is how I worn it in the picture that I posted on my Instagram. Do you guys follow me on Instagram? I hope you do. Because if you don't, you should change that. Anyway, I really, really like this. Maybe we should leave it. Shall we leave it for the duration of this video? Let's do that. This is from the current, from the Spring Summer Collection, from the main drop, so it should be available right now. Of course, I don't know how it is where you live, but in England, Chanel is closed. <sighs> so sad whenever i say sad times people are like seriously like there's much worse things in the world and i'm fully aware it's 
called sarcasm. Because I was supposed to move in to my new place, I started getting a lot of really cute flake things for my home. So I got my favorite uh, for an aesthetic candle, the one that smells like amber. I love this so, so, so much. It's amazing. It's basically waiting for me to move in. I know it's quite annoying that I don't know when that's gonna be, but there are more important things in the world right now. So that's okay. I love this candle. This one, like, Fornacetti has like several different scents. There's like a floral one, there's the amber one, there's another one, and this one is my favorite. Another thing that you saw on my Insta came in this black little box, and it is a set of Gucci underwear. Now, I have already tried it on. I don't know if this is really underwear that you would wear as a functional underwear. I would more call it as like fashion underwear. So you can wear this under a blazer for it to like slightly poke out or under like a mesh skirt so that this can kind of poke out. It's quite see-through, so I mean, I don't know how brave you are. I don't think I'm that brave. Also not quite my style, but I think it's really cute and cozy, especially now when you're at home. Gucci did several of these. I'll try and link them below, like in black, in one piece, like really cute kind of home type of underwear that, I don't know, like obviously it's quite expensive, but I think that, you know, if you want to have like a special piece for something or under something, like you know when Dior did their type of like fashion underwear, I think this is Gucci's answer to that. Quite a smart move, I have to say. I got something else in a little orange box. This arrived very early, much before my birthday. And I was so surprised. And so excited for it that I can't even tell you because this is something that I really really like I, I don't normally say what I got from home I find that a bit I'm not sure what's the right word but I got this from someone very very dear for me because I saw that this person has the exact same at their house and I said like oh my god I love this so much and apparently it's a sushi plate it's a beautiful mosaic type of sushi plate. I think that's what I was told that it's a sushi plate, but it looks like kind of like a mosaic if you can see with an Hermes logo I guess inside and a horse and the, of course all the like signatures. So this is what it looks like. It's gray and white which is also like one of my favorite color combinations. I love it. I will use it to like you know when I take my rings off and place jewelry and just to have it on the coffee table. Stuff like this really really um, gets me excited for my new place, so I cannot wait. I honestly cannot wait for the day to come. It's beautiful, such a thoughtful gift. Also, like, I, I just thought it was brilliant because I really liked this. And when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, this is so beautiful. Like, where, like, how can I find this? Where can I find it? And I always wanted to get it. And then I got it for my birthday. I also um, got a lot of compliments for this tea necklace, which has pearls inside. And there's another choker one as well, which are... Not really birthday gifts, but they arrived just on my birthday from uh, Pachare. I will link them below uh, because you guys keep asking me for the pearl necklace. But I really, really love the tea necklace as well. I think it's really beautiful. It kind of, I, I wear it every single day now. It comes like with two faces. One is completely gold, which is the back of it. But I think you can still wear it like that. Or you can wear it like this with the pearly front. Super cute. There's a not so little um, Chanel parcel here. I have already opened it and I know what's inside. It's filled with kind of my Chanel beauty favorites. I got something extremely um, precious which is the vanilla oil. I love it so much. I love moisturizing. I love, uh, especially now, at night when I finish watching Netflix and then I go and have a shower and then I have like whole little ritual. I massage the oil in, I go to bed, I really enjoy my rituals. I have my big glass of water with my vitamins. So it's like a really nice little ritual that I've got going on. This is what the vanilla oil looks like and it smells divine. It's not like overly, it's not like too potent, it's not, I don't know, but I, when I went to the Chanel spa, when they kindly invited me to their spa at the Ritz, I really enjoyed the scent and I could choose which oil I wanted um, them to use and what scent and I remember when I smelled this it just reminds me of that spa visit. It was incredible. I have written a whole blog post about that incredible visit so I don't know if you guys have checked it out but if you haven't you should because it's, wow, not the blog post but the spa. 
and um, yeah, we are really trying hard to keep up with the blog posts, so I have written several recommending the books, the movies, the TV shows, the home outfits, I spoke about how I deal with quarantine, I've spoken about a lot of things, so you should check it out maybe. Then over here we have quite a few things, something that I'm extremely excited to try are these uh, Le Lift Chanel, these are like eye patches, wait let me show you, I know what it is, I've always wanted to try it, never have tried it, it comes in this black box, there's like a little roller that you like obviously roll under your eye, and then there are patches. How many patches are there? They're like 10, what it looks like. I would I would think it's 10. So I'm very excited to try this because I have seen and heard about this product before. And also the Lift is such a great line by Chanel. So I love it. I'm currently using something else from Sublimage range. And it's honestly like so good. I'm just waiting to finish it so that I can tell you about it because I quite like to use up a product before I tell you and I'm really impressed. Okay, so who remembers that during Milan Fashion Week I broke my favorite Chanel lipstick. I got out of the car and it broke into a million pieces. So I got out of the car and I broke my favorite Chanel lipstick which is a liquid lipstick in a glass bottle. It looked like this and we are reunited again. This is the Rouge Allure Ink Fusion in shade movie nude. I love this. I love this so much. It just like brings so many funny memories. This was like the last day that life was still the same before the corona panic started really hitting, just to let you know. So it's crazy. I'm gonna go back watch maybe my London or Milan vlog just to remember what the life was like before this. But um, yeah, I love this lipstick and I'm so happy I have it again. Then I got the Le Rouge Duo in shade Intense Caramel. This looks beautiful. Should we try and apply it? I've got something on my lips, well. So this is what's on one side and now you cannot even see what I've done. I mean, it's okay. Consider I've blindly done it. And then on the other side of this, ah, it's a gloss. So this is it. This is the product and like I said the color is Intense Caramel 154. And then I got the Volume Stretch the Chanel. This is mascara. I think this is the new mascara from Chanel. Oh my god, it's so beautiful the packaging. I've never tried actually Chanel mascaras before, but I shall keep you informed because I'm sure you guys want to know. One more thing to show you. And I don't know why the box looks a bit dusty. I mean, it was sitting on the side for a while. It comes in this box over here, I guess. I don't have to tell you much, do I? I did not really expect this at all. It's already opened. But I'm really kind of looking forward to the summer. And I'm just hoping to have like a really nice summer full of travel, full of kind of... I feel... I don't know how you guys feel but I feel that my perspective on everything has changed a little bit. I really have enjoyed having some downtime. I also appreciate my work a lot but it made me really like stop, rest, look around, understand even more how grateful I am for every day and for little things and that I'm just trying to get rid of as much as I have in a way, you know, like I just want to kind of restart everything and just kind of do it a little bit more mindful. I don't know how you guys feel. Let me know in the comments. I'm very curious about your thoughts. So I got a beautiful pair of shoes and these are called, I feel like they're called Cassandra. Yeah, Cassandra. Here we go. It's a pair of sandals. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to tell what they look like, but they're just strappy, strappy sandals in size 39. I'm size 39 and they have like a logo in the front over here. They have black patent leather. Uh, the heel is not like straight. So it's kind of like, you know, the arched heel, which is quite beautiful and quite feminine. I would say it has four straps, whereas one goes around the toes and all the other ones go around your foot. And yeah, I have not worn them yet and I just think they're absolutely stunning. Of course, like, where would I wear them? To the kitchen? That was a bit unnecessary, but you know what I mean. So this is it, and I cannot wait 
to show these babies what the outside world looks like because I'm sure they'll be happy. I posted recently an Instagram video of me wearing a lot of different heels. We'll insert it now. Someone commented the cutest thing ever. Like, if you guys think I don't read comments, of course I read comments. Like, I try to respond to as many as possible as well. And someone left the cutest comment saying like, yay, the foot is back. I just thought that was so cute because I do feel like we are friends and that um, you guys follow and stuff but I know that also there are so many influencers and that you guys cannot follow what everybody is doing and saying and that I had like a whole like foot situation in February and stuff like I am excited that I'm back in heels and that you know like I did a little I'm back kind of video my foot still sometimes hurts but I would need some physiotherapy which hopefully will get me into these shoes. Like I said, my main birthday present hasn't arrived yet, which is highly disappointing. But as soon as it does, I will kind of show it in a vlog. I will try and do as many like kind of home vlogs as possible. But until then, I hope you guys will stay safe, stay at home, and let me know what other videos you'd like me to film. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye guys!